guys welcome back to lampstand my name is praise if you're new i'm delighted to have you if you're old welcome back anyways um today's topic is part two of what i pray and hope is going to be a four-part series on singleness um, the name of this series is single and secured um, if you haven't watched the first episode pause go back and watch it I'm gonna link it up here um, but make sure you watch the first episode the first episode was called understanding singleness um, this second episode is called how to maximize singleness the question that birthed this episode is actually what do I do while I'm single so let's dive right into it learn how to love yourself why because God loves you like learn the things that are lovable about you in 1st Corinthians 13, in Romans 8.35, in Ephesians 3.18-19, these all talk about like the love that God has for you. Um, it says in Ephesians 3.18-19, May your roots go down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love, and may you be able to feel and understand, as all God's children should, how long, how wide, how deep, and how high His love really is and to experience this love for yourself though it is so great that you will never see the end of it or fully know or understand it and so at last you will be filled up with god himself so when you're filled up with god himself you will understand what love truly is you will understand how deeply he loves you and why you are worthy of love you will receive that love you will love yourself and be able to give love to others so that's our second point. The next point of maximizing singleness is to live. Live your life. Live life now. I'm telling you, this life that I have, I'm living and I'm living good. <laughs> I'm enjoying my life, guys. Live your life now. Don't think that life is gonna start when you get a relationship. Start now because this life that God has given you is for the living. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof they and them that dwell in it you dwell here enjoy this earth travel like eat all the kinds of food you want to eat start the businesses you want to start learn the languages you want to learn exercise again i'm always shameless plug for that like spend time with family and friends live enjoy life like go into nature go on hikes i'm not a hiker but go and hike like learn how to swim like do all these things now you don't have to start living life when you're in a relationship live your life now enjoy this life now like you literally only live once on the earth <laughs> but you only live once now is the time to live don't think that life starts when you're in a relationship or life starts when you're married a different phase of life starts life just continues okay so live life now so that's how to maximize singleness is this life that you have enjoy it to the absolute fullest like it says that in ecclesiastes i will pull it up but it says that in ecclesiastes somewhere that the conclusion of the matter is that enjoy this life full stop enjoy this life that you have now while you're single okay so this last point is going to be on relationships it's the one that everybody has been waiting for well not everybody but some people have been waiting for is relationships and i have like a few like pointers on this just be ready so the first one is that you don't have to date around to find the right person you don't have to date around to find the right person you can date your boss you can date your business partner you can date your brother-in-law again most of the time i'm speaking because i'm a female please adapt to your own if you're male um, but you can date all the wrong people like some people that come into your life are not to be dated they are to be friends some people come in to be a business partners not just because somebody's of the opposite sex you think that they are coming in and they are immediately a prospect that is not always the case and that is where like being sensitive to the holy spirit is key because you will ask him should i pursue will i overtake he will tell you this one is supposed to be a friend this one don't near him because his agenda for you is evil and not of good to scatter your life like this is the time to be sensitive this is the time to know that it's not my mom says that it's not every fly that flies that must perch that is to say 
it's not everybody that constitutes you that you will give a chance it's not everybody that comes around you that you must give a chance the fact that somebody is interested in you that's great interest is great but interest does not mean that you must commit to them like it's not every option that comes around that you need to give a chance some of them are immediate rejection because they don't meet criteria what is your criteria <laughs> that one is a totally different topic what is your do you even have criteria you should have criteria <laughs> you should have criteria guys like you need to have a standard you need to have a standard otherwise every tom dick and harry can come and whine you and you are falling into relationship and falling in an act of love like you need to have a standard that standard will help you know that there are some people who they're gonna come but they can't perch because they are not your standard they are not your caliber you need to date your kind if you are dating and you don't need to date everybody that comes next to you because not everybody that comes next to you is the person for you another thing i wanted to say is that heartbreak is not something that you must experience you must not experience heartbreak to be an adult like they do not it does not come with the territory you can actually i know a lot of people yes i know a lot of people and feel free to comment in the section in the comment section if you know anybody but i know a lot of people who have dated one person and married that person and they never experienced heartbreak and they're alive and well like there's nothing that says that you need to go through heartbreak that is a process of training i mean if you have gone through it like i have like it's a process of training great but I mean, I'm grateful for the lessons, but there are also people who do not need the, those lessons. Like, I don't believe that everybody needs to go through heartbreak to be an adult. Like, if you can avoid it by maximizing singleness, do it. You don't need to go through heartbreak to be an adult. Amen? Amen. The next thing I want to say hmm, is that you should not be desperate. Don't be desperate to... Don't be desperate. <laughs> One of my aunties told me, and I love this so much, and she told me, she said, don't be desperate, but if you must be, be desperate in the place of prayer. And I've actually not touched it in the whole video, but the place to be desperate, the place to really vent and rant and talk about how who is me and I'm single is in the place of prayer. Because that's the only place that you can go there, you can have a release, you can get reassurance and you can come back and move on with your daily lives. Going to tell other people, people who, like their response is to try to hook you up. Their response is to like make some people even want to make you feel worse than that. But don't be desperate. Like now is not the time to be desperate. Because if you are desperate, anything and anyone that resembles the opposite sex, you are just going to commit and say, ah, I beg let me hold a burning hand is worth two in the bush let me have this one that i have like and i'm not gonna lie it's very easy to like be desperate i've been there trust me <laughs> i've been like i beg i've seen somebody now let me just hold this one first and you are shortchanging yourself because for somebody like me like god has already told me that literally he has the best of himself reserved for me why would I want to go for less than his best when God himself has already told me that the best of God is reserved for me? It's hard to wait, it's difficult, but from time to time when I want to do a little like higgy haga and get quite desperate, I'm reminded that like the best of God is reserved for me. So anything else that's coming now that God has already said this is not the person, they are not the best. I'm going for better when I can get the best. Come on now like don't be desperate guys don't be desperate because desperation will push you to settle don't be desperate don't settle like the best of god is reserved for you as well it's not only a praise promise it's for all of us the best of god is reserved for you you just need to wait you just need to be patient and as you're waiting refer to the promises of god guys there are so many promises for single people I will try my best to like link some of them like in the description box because this year I really want to give people like resources not just from what I say but things that like you can go on your own time and also like read and watch and all of that so I'll try to link that in the description box but there are so many promises for single people like reassurance so affirmation no that you will not die single all of them are there you just need to know them like don't be desperate don't settle follow God's leading I think those three words are enough. Follow God's leading. 
simple on everything follow god's leading follow god's leading is a nice segue into <laughs> be visible yes yes i'm gonna go there be visible brothers and sisters brethren brothers in christ sisters in christ be visible that is to say come out from under the rock beware hmm, this one you need to write this down just things down beware people you would like to attract can see you beware people you would like to attract will see you so if you want to be seen by people in the club that caliber of people then go to the clubs <laughs> not my recommendation but if that's what you want then go there if you want to be seen by people who are for God and who love the things of God not just be in church but be there for God serve hmm. let me just digress into serving a little bit join a department guys join these are the tips that nobody tells Christian people join a department in church why because these are the things somebody will say oh please do you know that sister in ushering department that adjective now of being in ushering department you you're serving God though but they're already using your service of God to categorize you because somebody knows you somewhere. Like you don't want to be the person that is just in the congregation and they describe as, oh, that sister that has crochet hair. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but like, it's just easier to be identified when like you are serving, you are busy in church, like you are busy serving God. You can be like, okay, that sister in ushering department or not even just church do things be where the kind of people you want will see you go to the gym be oh let it be like the person say oh do you know that girl that like usually comes to the gym on mondays wednesdays fridays at 5 30 to 6 30 p.m you have been identified or say, oh do you know that girl that comes to the park and she comes at 7 a.m to 8 a.m every friday like she sits here with her dog you have been identified or um oh do you know that um banker that works at the wells fargo on serving the lord street sorry guys i'm just very christianese but you've been identified like be where the kind of person you're trying to attract will see you like be visible don't just be hiding and thinking that oh somebody will find me and i used to think like that i used to think like god will bring my person and that's cute and he will bring the person but you have a part to play you have a part to play as well i'm not saying go out there and look for like after all eve was presented to adam but be where you can be presented eve, eve was not adam first of all adam was not hiding somewhere and eve was not hiding somewhere when it was time to present presenting means she was moved here they say see you see you see you see see me see you see you see you see woman be where god can be like see you see you see you see you see a man see a woman so that you can be presented and i also want to talk about online presence because this is something that i struggled with a lot being the christian sister that i am yeah i was just like i don't want like any creeps to be on my page like i have to be private and all of that but remove private guys 2022 how about we try it i've actually been trying it for like it's not been a full year since i did that but a lot has happened i'm just gonna say that a lot has happened you get a lot more visibility when you're not private because people can see whether you're their caliber or not they people can tell a lot and that also goes to show that watch what you post online again the kind of people that you want to attract will see the kind of things that you're posting and if you're posting things that are not really who you are well because you're on social media you're trying to present yourself a certain way then the kind of person that you want may not see you because you're not portraying the kind of thing that they want so be the kind of person that the kind of person you want wants be the kind of person that the person you want wants anyhow you take it shall be that person and even if you don't want to open your private indefinitely from time to time open up give window of of open on your privacy i'm talking about instagram now and other like social media pages so that people can see you guys visibility 
visibility is key think of rebecca thank you in the spirit think of isaac and rebecca in the bible rebecca was visible why she ah oh god she was doing what she normally does like she wasn't being out of your character and the things i'm talking about being visible i'm not saying oh go and start. this is not you trying to be somebody you know this is you doing your normal but you are doing you are doing things rebecca was literally going to fetch water as was her custom to work and water the sheep or whatever she was doing at that point in time but because again she was being herself she was just being kind she was just showing character and she was being kind not because this man was a prospect for her she was being her normal self she didn't know that the man was scouting the man was hunting he was looking for a suitable wife for isaac and he literally saw her being kind and he was like nah he literally had already oh my god this is how people miss he had already prayed that god please oh i'm going to look for a wife for my master's son oh, please this is the kind of woman i'm looking for let her just if she appears like this it could have been anybody he did not say please give me rebecca he said give me a woman that fits this spec rebecca was being herself not knowing that she was fitting the spec but she was being herself she was being where she was supposed to be at the right time and as god will have it she fit the bill she was there serving pulling being a strong independent single woman hello being strong and independent fetching water watering the camels doing all of this not knowing that she was being graded guys you are always being graded in your visibility you are being graded make sure that you're not failing the grading make sure you're not failing the exam before you even write it so be visible watch what you are putting out there because people are watching you they're not just watching you because they're the ones interested in you they are watching you for their brothers they're watching you for their sons they're watching you for their daughters they're watching you for their sisters like people are watching and these people that are watching are going to like you're not going to know who's going to connect you so you need to stay ready so you don't have to get ready like stay ready at all times be visible like open private <laughs> do things with your life so that people you can be identified be identified doing something do something in your single season okay well, we have talked long enough about maximizing singleness but i hope that these tidbits have been helpful to you um please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um if you have any questions if you have any additions leave them in the comment section send an email to lamstan 516 at gmail.com or send a dm on instagram at lamstan underscore 516 Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.